Hello everybody. Today we are working with the CAIS Comix 1, also the CAISL Comics 1. And this video deals with setting up the user-defined calibration weight. Now this unit is set up for 5,000 grams and you will need to make sure that your calibration value is at least 20% of your maximum capacity. Okay, so let's begin. Turn the unit off, or start with it off. Turn it on and press and release the tear key during the segment check. At this point, press and release the function key until you get to setup. Now mine is locked, but more than likely yours will not be. So you do not need to input the service code, but on mine we will because it is locked. So the service code is 20, 21, 22. But like I said, if you're dealing with a brand new unit, you will be able to bypass this. So when you go to setup, it'll go right to WP1. If it does not, just press and release the function key until you see WP1, and then you'll be at this point here. Press and release the tear key. Press and release the tear key again. Now we want to set up the user-defined calibration weight in parameter 1. So press the tear key. And now we're going to press and release the function key. Okay. Cal adjust. Press and release the tear key. This one is set up for calibration by user. Okay. Um, if you have a brand new unit, it may be set up for cal.ext and that would have a predefined calibration value. So the, the great thing about doing it this way is that you can select the weight that you want to use or the weights that you have uh, as long as you have at least 20% of the capacity. So we have the circle. If you did not have the circle there, you would press and release the tear key. Okay. And then press and release the zero key to go back one level to cal adjust. Now go back to pressing and releasing the function key. Okay, you're going to pass cal.ext, you're going to pass cal unit, unless of course you needed to change it from kg to pounds. Press and release the key again, manual extw is good, this is where you're going to input the calibration value. Press the tear key, cal adjusts, press the tear key again, and now you can input the value. This unit is set up for 5,000 grams, so we need to have at least 1,000 grams for our calibration weight. So use the function key to change the number. Okay, we're already set up in kg, so we're just going to leave the 1 in there by itself, and the unit will know that that's 1 kg. If you do not get an INF 71, that means the value was accepted. Once you have it in place, you can press and hold the tear key. The unit will reset. And now, when we go to calibrate, press and release the ISO test key, you will see that the unit now has the calibration value that you selected.